My name is uh, Robert M. Springer, Jr., and I'm a retired Army Colonel 06. I graduated in uh, June of uh, 1949. I went to my branch school, uh, artillery school, and uh, when the Korean War broke out uh, June 25th, uh, 1950, uh, I gotta get the dates right. Uh, I was, uh, I just gotten out of branch school, and so I was immediately ordered uh, on a high priority as a replacement, second lieutenant, uh, artillery forward observer to uh, the Korean War. And uh, so I uh, flew as a passenger on a uh, civilian airline to uh, California, and then from there, from Travis Air Force Base in California, we were flown directly to Tokyo for initial uh, uh, briefing and to get our combat equipment. We stayed there a couple days, and then we went by railroad to Sasebo in Japan, and then took a ship across to Busan in Korea, and uh, that was in July of 1950. And just to uh, describe what was happening there, uh, after the Korean War broke out on June 25th, 1950, uh, the um, South Korean Army was taken by complete surprise, as, were, as was the American Army. And uh, the uh, communist uh, North Koreans attacked. They had about 200 tanks. And the South Koreans didn't have any. And uh, they South Koreans were completely outmanned and outgunned and had to retreat. Uh, we started sending reinforcements over within a week to assist them. But uh, the momentum of the North Korean drive with all their tanks enabled them to push through uh, the first month of the war all the way down to, to all the way south probably a couple hundred miles, down to uh, just north of Pusan. And uh, that's when I joined uh, the 8th Army. I joined the 1st Cavalry Division. Uh, and uh, I was immediately assigned to be a replacement uh, artillery forward observer with uh, the infantry the 8th Cavalry Regiment. And at that time, uh, they were just retreating. Uh, the Cavalry Regiment that I was with was retreating from uh, Pusan, not back to Pusan, but from, uh, uh, from the north. And they were defending. They were on the outskirts of Tegu, which is in the south part of Korea, in a perimeter. And uh, we, were, we were pulling into the perimeter. I, uh, that was a very uh, bloody time because uh, the uh, United Nations forces, uh, and particularly in our regiment, were defending, trying to hold our toehold in Korea. We were almost pushed off by the, this massive North Korean drive. But by, uh, by the end of July, we would managed to Insert, uh, put a perimeter defense around the Busan, maybe about 50 miles to the north of Busan. And Busan, of course, is a major port that we depended on. And uh, my regiment was stationed just north of Tegu as part of the perimeter defense. And we fought there for at least a month. Uh, it was very it was almost World War I style French trench warfare. Uh, every day, almost they would attack 
and we would counterattack. And so I joined the uh, infantry company as an artillery forward observer. And uh, immediately we, as soon as I joined, immediately within a day, the communists attacked our positions. And uh, I was able to uh, assist uh, the infantry with uh, calling for artillery, uh, which they were, we were able to provide them. And uh, so and this went seesawed back and forth. Almost every day there was some kind of active fighting and they, they attacked us with trench mortars and infantry and, and some uh, artillery. Uh, so I learned, uh, myself, I learned quickly my job, which is to, for, mainly for calling for artillery fire for the infantry company I was with. And I, I have to say that uh, the job, my, the technical part of my job was not very difficult. Uh, you know, you can learn how to call for artillery fire couple of hours. So that part wasn't so difficult, but uh, the hard part was identifying the enemy where they were and getting the artillery to fall on their positions. So at any rate, for about a month we fought back and forth. Uh, we had a lot of casualties, but we managed to hold on. And then uh, then when we got reinforcements and the position was stabilized, we were able to build up. And then something very surprising happened. Uh, General MacArthur's uh, headquarters had planned an invasion of Inchon. 